Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. It's about Chnak coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. And um, spirits own me to go into a, a quick little lesson. A preset popped into my mind. While I was out just doing some uh, shopping, just picking up a couple of different things. Now, my battery is really low. only have like 10%. Um, this is uh, uh, in transit, so I'm going to be driving. I'm going to drive back to the house. But uh, I just want to kind of uh, strike while the iron is hot. <clears throat> and this is uh, reminiscent of the, the times that we're in. Um, what's getting ready to be be uh, befall the majority of the people um, around the earth, especially here in America, which is going to be safe for the last final destruction, which is the uh, World War III, the missiles. Also, Yahweh Shai coming back in the chariots with the world ignorant calls UFOs. But I want to bring out this precept in, in uh, Tobit and maybe hit another precept. Again, it's going to be quick. Um, but this precept popped into my head <clears throat> um, here in Tobit where it goes into uh, lewdness. The, what came into my head was lewdness is the mother of famine. Okay, lewdness is the mother of famine. In uh, America, give me a second. Okay, lewdness is a mother of famine, and America uh, embodies the lewdness. You know, just seeing, you know, sodomites, women with damn near no clothes on, showing every inch of their body. You know, like they're in, a, you know, in them gymnasiums and gyms, which, oh, that, that's spirit. Look, look, look what we have right here. It's right there. Just right there. Right. That's hey, that's just what it is. You're going to see that nonstop here in Babylon. OK, um, half naked people, uh, men and women. Right. It's more polarized with women because, you know, women are 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 sexual creatures. You know, they're 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 beings of pleasure, if you will. You know, and, um, you know, it's more uh, attractive for a woman to be half naked than a man to be half naked. But you got that going on too. the 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 little short, short men that they call them the hoochie daddies, you know, men, uh, um, you know, uh, walking around with no shirt on. Nipple showing women, nipple showing, you know, the, the camel toe, you know, ass out tight, tight ass clothes. You is like women be doing it to cleavage all out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as, as as I was uh, um, you know, doing some little shopping, you know, literally breasts, see through, like you can see, literally see everything. Like, damn, mate, you know, like wow, this this is like, it's getting worse, right? Before I go here, let me go to uh, Revelation. Okay, Revelation eleven, because America is synonymous with Sodom. Okay, Sodom. Um, which is the chief city, but you had uh, four other cities outside of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeobom, and Z uh, Zama, or I, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, Zor, okay? You, you can read that on your, on your by yourself, but there was five cities. Let me bring, let me bring this out. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies, which is speaking about the Israelites in a dead state, not knowing who they are not having the name of Yahweh Shai, which is the breath which makes us alive these people man just damn nigga woman man Ugh. hey man did you literally pulled out you know let me it don't even matter let's just keep going see and their dead bodies shall lie in the great in the street of the great city okay which is America which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, Sodom and Egypt. I'm honing in on that word Sodom, which means burning. And Sodom was known for what? It was known for their wicked, lascivious acts. Okay, um, known for uh, you know sexual immorality. Okay, and that's what you have here today. All right, we'll look at the the, the prawn industry. Okay, where you you have women. I mean, and it's ton. It's tons of that content on on online. There's more content of 
um, sexual acts online than there, than there are everything else combined. Okay, the funny, you combine all the funny videos, you combine all the, the dog videos, you combine all the pranks, you combine all the, uh, you know, sports, sports. It, there's more uh, sexual uh, videos of, you know, women and men doing uh, sexual acts, um, you know, online, you know. It, it, gets, it gets real dark, but that, that's a bubbling to the surface of America, you know, where they, they have, uh, you know, agendas to normalize these activities, these wicked activities, which that was the norm in Sodom. So it's the same thing today. We're seeing, we're seeing just um, the, the reviving of the, the Sodomitish ways. Well, every day, every every man is a, is a is a is a, a you know what is a a, a flip flopper. Every woman is a, a flip flopper. You you gotta like be initiated. Oh, you haven't done that. Like you know, uh, uh, men men want to be women. Women want to be men. Okay. And as I was thinking about this, you just be like, man, you can't even, you know, it's like, damn, everywhere you go, you know, you're trying to stay away from it, but you can't. This precept, let me go back. Now, also in Revelation, it said where our Lord was crucified, it's speaking about how Yahweh Shai, he was crossed out. All right. He was uh, taken out of the picture and, and the white Christ was put up and the do as thou wilt spirit, because under under the the leadership of uh, white Christianity, Renaissance Christianity, all madness was able to uh, proliferate. Okay, uh, the homosexual agenda was able to uh, prosper. Okay, uh, evil was able to prosper under the guise of Christianity, white Christ. Okay, white Christ has not rebuked any of these, any of these um, uh, uh, immoral ways, and then when it does, okay, it's bugged out. You know, it's one or two dudes on the street corner with a with a speaker talking about repent to Christ, repent to Christ. But, you know, every, you know, they're still, you know, they, they, they will still allow other activity. They might just rebuke one thing. They, you know, stop, stop sexualizing our children, but they're OK with feminism. But they're OK with the woman, you know, over the man. They're OK with uh, a gays. You know, they're OK with this. They're OK with that abortion. Right. So it's all it's all messed up. But again, let me go to this precept. Because as we're seeing all this, we're seeing all this lewdness, and I'm going to look up the word lewd. Let's read it. And this is uh, Tobit speaking to his son, Tobias. You got to read the whole, it's, it's, a, it's not a long book, you, but you can go ahead and read that. Some good history um, in there. Okay, and little sprinkles of prophecy as well. Okay. Uh, Tobit 4. And 13 now now therefore my son this is uh tobit calling his son tobias because he had to go uh you know get a pledge of money that he had before he was going to pass it says now therefore my son love thy brethren and despise not thy uh despise not in thy heart thy brethren the sons and the daughter daughters of thy people and not taking a wife of them, okay, we, we weren't supposed to, it was taught amongst the, uh, you know, the sons of God not to deal with the other heathen nations, you know, to marry, you know, your own nation, okay, it says, for in pride is destruction and much trouble, and America is the embodiment of pride, okay, Esau, Edom, and especially when there's like a proud fighter like a Conor McGregor, right, especially if you're if Esau, you look like an Edomite, which he's a jake. But you look like a, a Edomite and you're proud and you're knocking people out. I'm just using him as an example. People love that. They love that arrogancy. They love that loftiness, that pride. You know, especially especially when it's white, so-called white. Now, if Jake, you know, they you know they like it a little bit, but then they'll get mad when Jake does it. But, you know, when there's like the, the, the white hope, that's why uh, people love uh, Trump so much. OK, the Republican so-called Republicans, they love the, they love Trump because he embodies uh, pride. OK, but that's Esau, Edom in, in general. They they pride themselves in being a top military, the, the top this, the top that, the, the greatest nation. OK, as well as shitting on other nations. My waves, my waves are better than yours. You 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 are barbaric. 
You need to you need to have a, a, a democratic republic. You you need to allow the nasty people to live freely. You need to allow women to have more rights than men. You know you're oppressing. Okay, and then he shows he shows his power through the force of the sword. Okay, but in much but in pride, right? It says for for in pride is destruction and much trouble, and this is why much trouble is coming to Babylon the Great. Look, you just had that two days ago. You just had that mass shooting, right? You just had that mass shooting two days ago. Okay, and more events like that are going to be happening. And they're saying that Hamas is going to be launching uh, attacks here in uh, the, the states, and they're going to use that. They're going to use that as a pretext to take more of your freedoms and to label anybody that has an op opposite view of the government as terrorists. It's just, an, it's just a, a, a another play out of the devil's playbook. That's all that it is. Okay. Uh, let me finish this. It says, and in lewdness is decay. And great want. See that? And lewdness is decay and great want. In America, that's that's part of this the uh, this civilization crumbling is the morality. The morality crumbles. Because at one point you you didn't have this lewdness. So even amongst Esau, now he was he was doing sick things, you know, uh behind closed doors, which he's always done, but in out in the open he had an image to portray and they had, you know, somewhat you know, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm godly, you know, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, I do that, well, I don't know, that's barbaric, you know, they have some type of, uh, you know, more, somewhat morals, you could say morals to themselves, they wasn't just out there lewd, if the white woman came, what, 40s, 30s, 20s, okay, even 50s, the white woman came with fucking, uh, with a short ass dress, you had the police, they'll come in, um, They'll, they'll come and arrest her and, and where, 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 where you, where, where's your husband where's your father at you know the women will be looking at her like you know you'll get shamed nowadays you can literally a woman can literally walk uh, uh, bare chested right they can, they can just walk bare chested no, no clothes on and it's, that's okay there's nothing wrong with that okay they can show they, these women love showing their belly Okay, the short shirt on, and it, and it's not like, oh yeah, you know, she only showing it because, you know, she has a nice body. Okay, I get that, but you have you will have the biggest of the biggest. You have uh, Taniqua, you you have uh, uh, what was it called, uh, Melissa, and and uh, uh, and Tina, and what was the Latin name, uh, Angelica. You know, uh, Maria. You have Big Maria. Maria Grande. Right, you have her, she 300 pounds, and she'll have her stomach out. So it's more than that, okay? It's more than that. And of course, these women are wicked, but men too. More so the women, but the men too, okay? The men are doing the same exact thing. They freaky, they lewd. Okay, we're gonna get that definition of lewd, but lewd, just go, go to one of these gyms here in America. Oh, go to, go to uh, one of these gyms in Korea. And uh, in Japan, well, you know what? I can't say so much about Japan. Japan, I mean, they'll they'll, they'll say, hey, look, you gotta you gotta cover up in certain gyms. You know, they have a little bit more moral code, moral code than any of you Americans. America is just completely just it is like, wow. Spe especially out here, you know, we in the Bay Area, you know, San Francisco is just like, fuck, you know, just pure. Freak, it's nothing but freakism out here. You know, that's that's all that it is. It's freakism. A men, uh, a men that look like women, women look like men, drug addicts, weirdos, crackheads. Okay, Tra and then the trans. Oh shit. I mean, by the by the by the dozens, I guess. I don't even know. Just you're gonna see them every day. Every day you go out, you're gonna see them. That's a guarantee. Okay, and it's proliferating. It's increasing. Okay, but see, there's a. Th this is the thing. There's a judgment for this. Okay, just as it says, lewdness is the, the is is um is decay. That's why your cities are breaking down. Right, it starts with your morals. Your infrastructure is breaking down. The people's minds are breaking down. Read Isaiah the 24th chapter. You can read that whole chapter. The haughty people of the earth do languish. 
okay the city of confusion is is uh broken down or how does it say oh the city of the, uh, confusion is, is broken up broken down okay it says for lewdness is the mother of famine so you know it vexes your spirit as it says just lot vex with the filthy conversation in the wicked right let's read that let me see if i got it. okay just a lot <clears throat> just lot he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked yeah the, the their speech oh look at these podcasts look at these podcasts now everybody's just spewing madness Every, you know everybody's trying to break down the scriptures butchering the scriptures saying this prophecy is this talking shit Okay, just 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 talking shit, basically, just spewing out their their wicked heart, which is full of imaginations. Again, you got these women online; they they showing it all, they doing it all. You your your children are you're not only your children, but we are all exposed to the wickedness of Babylon the Great. You just get on the internet. The internet is a wicked ass place. Now, again, the most high. He has the he has the truth there too. Okay. So there's a lot of madness going on, but there's also the truth. Okay. Second Peter two. And six and turning. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. It, it names two cities, but it was three more. It was five cities in total. Okay. And Sodom means burning. And what burning in their lust, okay? And what and what did the Lord, us, uh, uh, you know, say through Paul in Romans the first chapter? He gave them up to their vile affections. He gave them up to a, a reprobate mind because they were burned in their lust. He said, "All right, well, you wanna you wanna burn in your lust? Go ahead." The Lord gave them up to that reprobate mind, okay? That's like I'm looking at something. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow. See? Making them an example unto those that after shall live ungodly. And America had the Bible, right? So all these different changes that you had taking prayer out of the out of the school, which it was all Esau's not of the scriptures anyway. He you he used that as uh you know justification. You know, uh, to to come down upon different people of the earth, especially Gad, Reuben, the different tribes. Okay. Well, I'm I'm seeing some more lewd activity right now as I'm at the stoplight. Very very proud. Every everywhere you're gonna see lewd activity. Okay. So, uh, judgment is gonna come after it, and and lewdness is the mother of famine. So a lot of these people that you see that are lewd, the Most High he gonna starve them. And I was just thinking, I was like, "Woof, Lord, Lord, yeah, you want to be, you want to show it all with well, the Lord. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna show it all. He gonna show you sucked up dry, okay, cheeks sucked up, uh, 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 hips sucked up, okay. What's it called? He gonna show you what your your ribs sucked in, right? Not being able to move. Before that, you you was lewd as you was lewd as hell." You was lewd as hell. You was just nipples, booty, men's shirt off, Daisy Dukes, you got the, the hoochie daddies, you got your rod out. You had a, a dude like three, four weeks ago, a nigga butt naked uh, at the camp, out uh, on the other side of the camp. Me and a, a brother pointed out to me, this nigga is like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, oiled up, butt naked. Rod hanging out. I'm, I, I was like, shit. The most I ate, if the Lord didn't take that nigga out already, the Lord, hey, the Lord might just take this nigga out by famine. Okay, and the want, and lewdness is also the, the want of much things. Okay? Give me a moment. You know? Right, so uh, uh, let me let me let me go back. So this, the, and Peter's it speaks about that this should be an example how the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, and it was left in the scripture as a memorial, as a testament. 
uh, uh, the Romans, the 15th chapter, four verse. Things written in four time were written for our learning. But that goes to show you, right? Uh, Psalms, the 50th chapter, right? Esau, he hates instruction. He casts the words of the Heavenly Father behind him. He'll take them into, the, in, into his mouth to justify an action that, you know, he, he wants to justify. You say, oh, no, no, this is God. God's with this. God's with this. God's with me bombing you. God, God was with me taking over America and, and, and putting down the, the North American Indians and putting the Negroes in slavery because they were savages. They were worshiping other gods. So he'll use scriptures like that. Right. But when it comes to actually following the instruction of the scriptures, he, he, he throws the scriptures away and he he justify it through his own heart. OK, so you have the script, you know that you're not supposed to do this, but it's in Esau Edom's nature to do it. OK, and you know what? Lord's world of audio was good. You know, Lord's world of audio was good because I, I didn't turn on uh, the, this Bluetooth in the car. Let's just see. It says and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among him and seeing and hearing, so it's seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You see that? The Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So it's pretty much, if you're still alive and walking and you're wicked, you're lewd, you're wicked, you're evil, you know, you commit adultery, you're doing all, you're doing pretty much the things of the world. You burning in your lust. Well, the Lord is just preserving your ass to the day of destruction for punishment. That's all. That's how we know that, hey, the Lord, he's not going to uh, allow these things to happen. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. But see, the people, they don't believe, all right, because they don't have faith. So I'm looking at this, uh, this dictionary, uh, def this definition for lewd. I just type in in uh, in the Google. It says crude and offensive in a sexual way. See, because everything is sexualized here in Babylon. The great, your children are sexualized at a young age. The women, the, hey, you you give a woman liberty to be sexual, she gonna go above and beyond. Jake, Jake's a freak. You get a little bit of liquor in Jake. Jake just acting a goddamn fool, freaky. You you know Jake be having them them freak neeks. My my dad told me about how how you know how it be going down in the south. How they they be, they be popping each other and shit in in the club, having uh SCX in the club, women women eating each other in the club. He like he like man they get, they go crazy down there in the south. I'm like damn, and he told me he told me this at a, at a young age. Now me I have I experienced that no. Do I be in those clubs like no. So I, you know, I, I would, but he's telling me this, this is shit back in the nineties, back in the nineties, early two thousands, right? So Jake always been freaky, them, them, uh, those, those back, those Bacchus, those, those celebrations of Bacchus, them carnivals, that's all that is, Bacchus worship, those carnivals, and Jake, all Jake got, uh, um, you know, they all have, uh, uh. A different type of carnival, whatever, however they name it, you know, all the tribes do. Okay, where they go out and par parade around and, 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 and you know, be freaks. You see how Esau get down flashy for beads, you know, sex on the streets, drinking, drugs. Oh, you got you like the Burning Man. You got Jake's Debbie. Chris Chris Rock was in there, freaky. What they doing at Burning Man? When you get around, you get around Esau, he popping ecstasy, he taking mushrooms, he drinking, he a free spirit. You get around a white woman, she a free spirit. They doing all, they doing all type of shit, man, orgies. But since you, you like that, famine is coming for your ass, okay? Let me, um, let me get this. Famine's coming. And it was ironic because I was I was in the grocery store while, you know, while the thought came to me. So let's bring this. 
Let's bring this up. Second address. My phone about to die. Let me see if I can get it. Where is that at? Give me a second. Am I in the wrong chapter? Suddenly. Okay, I was there. I don't know why I missed it. Okay. Okay, that's why. Okay, I'm going to go right to the point. Second Ezra 6. You know, I got to let me read up one verse and then <clears throat> let me read two verses and then let me jump down. Uh, 6 and 18. And it said, Behold, the days come that I will begin to draw nigh and to visit them that dwell upon the earth. And I will begin to make inquisition of them what they have what they be that have hurt unjustly the unrighteousness i'm sorry what they what they be that have hurt unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of zion shall be fulfilled jump down to 22 and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty and i was in somewhat like a storehouse you know, a grocery store where they got about enough food for about three days. They got a they're constantly restocking. All right. But you have other grain, grain depots, you know, places where uh, uh, lots, lots of food are stored before they go to these different grocery stores around the cities. Suddenly. And then it also said the sown places, these these farms, these places where food is being uh, grown, it's going to suddenly appear desolate it's going to be gone okay and all that lewd activity then then uh hey well all that lewd activity that's what that's this is the reason why it's, it's uh these things are being brought and the lord he'll allow you to build up okay this um you know he'll allow you to build up uh these sins so then when he comes down and, and he sends that spirit of famine upon you well, he's he's completely justified because you Israelites, you've been told. Now the other nations, of course, you ain't you, ain't, you tell a mobile you need to cover up. This, we ain't we ain't worry about them damn them heathens Esau. We ain't worried. Hey, the Lord is telling you, you Israelites, if you okay, you want to be like that. All right, cool. Watch when that famine hit. You Lord gonna starve your ass out, and then you are gonna be hurt. Let me um, let me finish off here. Right. As a second Ezra, it's an Ezra. Ezra saw a lot. Okay. Um. Where is that scripture? Bear with me. Where's the walk can get it? Right, second edge of sixteen, right? Second edge of sixteen and nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. That they shall think themselves to be in a good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Okay, so I mean that's plain, simple. All praises go to Yah, Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. Until next time, Shalom to the elect.